violin today is the Louis Carpini G3 violin outfit. We've done videos on the Carpinis before. Uh, this is an updated video because we want to tell you about uh, a lot of the improvements that we've made on the instrument and, um, and also let you know about some of the features of the instrument that make it so great. The Carpini G3 is generally purchased by people who've been playing maybe two to six years. Uh, there's a bit of a range there. Most of them are adult beginners a lot of the time, um, or people are just continuing, they want to step up instrument. Also, the Carpini, one thing that's great about the Carpini is it's available in fractional sizes, from quarter size all the way to full size. So that means if you have a youngster who's practicing a lot and they really need a great fractional size violin that's going to have a warm and a sweet sound, this is the violin for you. Um, it is definitely one of the best violins I've ever seen at any price point. Uh, as far as the fractional size instruments go and because the fractional size violins have the same attention to detail as the full size ones and you don't find that very often so they make great fractional size instruments as well. Uh, really quickly just to talk about some of the features like all of our instruments the wood is solid carved spruce on the top and of course solid maple on the sides and the back. Uh, the Carpinis always have a decent amount of flame here on the back. The G2s have more flame uh, on the back, a little bit more choice wood. But both of the instruments um, are both you know, great values. Now the finish on the wood is um, an oil finish, which of course is um, generally either oil or spirit-based finish is a choice for most uh, violin makers. And it has been for centuries because it's great for its um, tone production capabilities. Uh, some instruments in this price category have a lacquer finish uh, which you definitely want to avoid. None of our instruments have a lacquer finish. That's that furniture type of finish. You spray it on, it's shiny, it's perfect looking, it makes the violin kind of look like a toy. Um, some people call them VSOs or violin shaped objects. We don't have any violins like that. The Carpini's got a beautiful finish. It's, um, it's a very complex finish, multi-layered, and it really produces a warm sound. Uh, the wood is also uh, grown uh, very specifically for instruments in the higher elevations and the colder climates. And uh, it's got very tight grain spruce, so it's a very stable, um, very well suited uh, wood for an acoustical device. The fittings, uh, like all of our violins, are very high grade ebony. The Carpinis have the highest grade that you can get on the tail piece and the uh, tail piece and the chin rest and the fingerboard and the uh, pegs. So it's very good for durability as well as um, it's just a beautiful wood. As with all our violins, you can get two different styles of tail pieces. Um, this Carpini has an ebony tailpiece with four uh, independent style fine tuners. They're very beautiful. They work very well. Uh, the benefit to these is that um, you know you can take one off or two off, or you know you can always change how many fine tuners you want on there. Some people want one, some people want four, um, and they're very, very, they're very, very durable. Um, the downside would be they require a little bit more maintenance than uh, the built-in type, which is over here. Here's a violin with the built-in type. Um, they require practically zero maintenance, but you'll always have four fine tuners unless you change out the tailpiece. Whichever one that you prefer, we're happy to put either one on the violin and um, it doesn't cost anything extra. I'll talk about the setup really quick. All the violins that you purchase from Kennedy Violins are completely 100% set up by the time you get them. So you don't have to put the bridge up, you don't have to put the strings on like most all, all the other violins that you get. Uh, on the internet and not only do we make sure that the violin is set up completely but it's set up correctly which is very very important for the playability of the instrument. Our full-time luthier staff spends a lot of time expertly um, carving the nuts and planing the fingerboards and creating the um, bridges to make sure these violins play very easily and they um, produce as best sound as they possibly can. Um, now, some of the measurements that we pay particular attention to is the height of the strings above the fingerboard, the distances of the strings from each other on the, uh, not only the nut, but on the bridge, and probably the most important is how the bridge fits the top of the violin. Now, this is a genuine Aubert bridge. We use a lot of genuine Aubert bridges on our violins because the wood is such high quality. It's a very famous brand. A lot of violinists and teachers are aware of this brand. They just uh, produce fantastic quality bridges that, uh, that enable all the vibrations from the strings to get through that bridge to make that sound box work properly. 
and that's why we use them. We make sure the curvature of the bridge is just right, so you have a, it's a little bit asymmetrical. You have a higher on the G, lower on the E. And a lot of our violins have the um, high-quality Auvergne bridge. The difference between the Carpinis and the Guglielmi Etudes, which are great violins, is that the, the wood is a little bit more choice, a little bit more time is spent on the interior carvings of the instrument, and the finish is a little bit more complex. In general, as you move up in the, at, at, through the price points of our product lineup, you're going to see pretty much the same thing. The more expensive a violin, it has a little bit choicer wood, it's a little bit older, it's, um, it's uh, maybe perhaps more beautiful, the finish is a little bit more complex, a little bit more lustrous, and um, you're going to find that uh, more time has been sent, spent on the interior carvings of the instrument, which impacts the overall quality of sound. And the Carpini is the next step up from the, uh, the Guglielmi in that regard. So I'll just talk about the outfit a little bit. Um, all of the Carpinis come with a great case. Uh, generally, it's our classic case. We have many different styles, many different colors. Um, they're always available. You can look on the check-in with the website to see what our latest selection is. This one here just happens to be like a forest green. Uh, we have greens and reds and blues and browns and beiges and all kinds of colors, uh, just about everything. And they're all beautiful um, cases. They're generally lighter than the industry uh, standard type of cases, but they're just as strong or stronger. And uh, we've done that by making sure that we pick out our own materials, these space age type materials um, that are very, very strong, but they're light as well, because who wants to carry around a big heavy case? You can uh, carry them over your shoulder, you can carry them as a backpack. They have a lot of storage. So usually you'll have at least two compartments. This one's got a very large compartment for your uh, metronome and your mutes and uh, shoulder rests and all that good stuff. Here's another very large compartment where you can put all, uh, all kinds of goodies in there as well. Nice uh, cover cloth. Most all our cases come with a nice uh, cover cloth, dust cover. Also protects your instrument in case the, the bow comes loose so the bow doesn't hurt the top of the instrument. Uh, this particular case has, not, has precision, provisions for uh, four uh, bows. And uh, as most of our cases are, this is a full suspension case which means it's got uh, a certain kind of padding here on the inside that floats your instrument above the case. So if there's an impact, the, the brunt of the force is not uh, transmitted to the back of your uh, violin. All of our cases have genuine YKK zippers, and we have redundant systems throughout. We have our weather strap, we have uh, buttons, or uh, magnetic buttons here to keep that weather strap over that. You also have a nice compartment here for all your sheet music. And of course we have, um, we have two zippers, so if one breaks, which is unlikely, but if one breaks, you still have another zipper. And of course we have uh, uh, dual zippers on either side, and we also have a nice latch. And these latches latch very, very well. They're lined up. You can always tell a high quality case by how they close. If the fit and finish and the workmanship is very good, they'll always close very, very well. And all of these cases are made with the utmost care, so they work very, very well. The handles are very heavy heavy-duty, double-mounted, um, and uh, with uh, nice, good pins in here. We have double stitching throughout. We have a lot of, a lot of our cases are uh, double stitched and riveted at the same time, so it's a durable case. You're not gonna have any issues for a long time on these cases. I'll talk about the bow for a little bit. Um, some of the violins in this price category, they might come with a, a fiberglass bow and with synthetic hair. Um, all of our bows, the minimum requirement that we have is that they all our genuine Brazil wood bow with real horse hair, not synthetic hair. And of course, um, as most violinists know, uh, real wood always produces a better sound. It produces a warmer sound. It also has excellent bounce characteristics. Real horse hair uh, receives the rosin well, and it also retains the rosin well. Um, we also have, we've improved the stick this year. It's a higher quality Brazil wood. It also is a little bit stiffer, so that it improves the bounce characteristics. It also uh, makes it less prone to uh, warping um, due to uh, humidity and temperature changes. Really high quality uh, ebony frog. It's um, very durable and of course very beautiful. So the bow works really well. And of course you always get a nice rosin. And so when you put all those characteristics together, like all of our instruments, you have really high quality materials, um, top notch fit and finish all throughout and an excellent setup. You get an instrument that uh, plays very easily and it produces um, a very nice sound that's very open. I'm always surprised at the, uh, the warmth of the sound on the Carpinis as well as they have a little sweetness in there as well. 
So as you may know, uh, here at Kennedy Violins, we're all string players, and uh, most of us are instructors as well. So if you have any questions at all about any of our violins, we're all very familiar with the playing characteristics. Uh, give us a call anytime, email us. We're always here to answer any kind of questions that you have. Thank you.